fellow citizens, Ugandans, James William Mugeni is my name, a medical clinic officer by profession. Res uh, ret retired but not tired. Just about two, about an hour ago, I have been addressing Ugandans on uh, Zoom, on Zoom, on, on a Zoom meeting. I read for them something from uh, it is called advanced advanced care planning advanced care planning from u.s department of health and human services i know ugandans you will say we are uganda it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't concern us but this is what i read for ugandans who are online at any age a medical crisis could leave you too ill to make your own health care decisions even if you are not sick now, planning for health care in the future is an important step towards making sure you get the medical care you would want. If you are unable to speak for yourself and doctors and family members are making the decisions for you, that's what they call advanced care planning. I was addressing Ugandans, looking at the possibility of the industrial action that's beginning on Monday, I have told Ugandans so over a month I have been following the elites, the elite, the elite population, and all of them are discussing Muhozi. Nobody is discussing health care. The allied health professionals have been warning us for now over three months. They have a day to go, and Sunday you don't count it, so they are beginning their actions on Monday. Just after that warning, I'm hardly one hour, I am being told a Full slurry has overturned from Bukoma and Simbi, and almost every person who was on that lorry is dead. There are several people with broken limbs. This now follows another accident after the bus in Kabaroli. My question is to Ugandans, why do we discuss Muhozi? The elites, you are giving Muhozi a lot of attention, and nobody is caring about the health workers who are warning you of an industrial action. Think of those guys from Bukoma and Simbi who has got an accident. Think of a mother who is going to in labor and who will need a blood transfusion and the hematology department, the, the, the hematologist has not come. What is wrong with you Ugandans? Why don't you think, if, if Mwazi, if somebody with a gun, with an AK-47 started talking, you'd listen. But I'm a man in uniform talking to you and nobody cares. This uniform is an equivalent of an AK-47. This uniform stands perhaps better than an AK-47 because sometimes an AK-47 will bring you to me. Ugandans, you are not listening. I have just been talking about advanced care planning and reading it from U.S. Department of, of Health and Human Services. For you Ugandans who are online, now we have a fossil lorry that has killed so many, that has injured so many. And Ugandans are just not caring. If a newspaper comes and makes a shouting headline, 14 million Ugandans are mentally sick, are mentally have mental illness. Yes, stressors and economic conditions alone can make everyone to think. People don't sleep, and this leads to a lot of accidents. People with loans who have just come from post-COVID or during COVID, and our government has not even cared. The Ugandans who are in states like us in the U.S., you saw how much the U.S. government came in to support us the low income earners the people at the extreme end and up now the government is still supporting people in uganda you are celebrating muhozi you are celebrating birthdays and the road is the road carnage is increasing and you're not caring ugandans wake up i salute you james william mugeni a medical clinic officer by profession is my name ugandan trained and knowing the ugandan conditions i've been in uganda 51 years of age is when I left Uganda. So I have grown in Uganda. I know what happens in Uganda. Thank you for listening.